First time putting up loose hay on the Tomarosa. This is the first year we are going to put up loose hay. Previously, all the hay we've put up, we've had it baled. Uh, we don't own a baler, we've had to have a neighbor bale it. And baled hay is great for storing. Uh, it stores in a small amount of space as compared to loose hay. Uh, but it's also baled to act more like a commodity, so it's easier to transport. So why in the world would you want to do loose hay in this day and age? Well, for us, we don't own a baler. And even though loose hay may be harder to store and to move, we don't plan to sell any of this hay. And we also want to have a higher quality hay. Since it's not going through a baler, which basically chops it up and compresses it, it gives you a little bit of higher quality. So we went ahead and we mowed today with our sickle bar mower on our farm all cub. Uh, we mowed two small fields. One's probably an acre. And then this one we probably carved out about three quarters of an acre. We may measure it to get more exact. Uh, but the hay is on the ground now. So now we just need to let it dry and then we will rake it and pick it up with a hay loader and do our attempts at haystacks. So stay tuned. If you're watching this video it probably went okay. the second day for the hay in the swath. We're hoping to be able to rake this afternoon.
Today we made hay all the way until the sunset. Stacy is doing the final cleanup sweep around this field. And then we'll let it dry tomorrow. Maybe rake it one more time to flip it over. And then it'll be time to pick it up with the hay loader. Now we have hooked up the hay loader to our hay wagon. This is disengaged, so if we were to drag it, nothing would move, and then we flip it over to engage. Looking pretty uh, professional there. I try. First time. Go easy on me. I'm asked. Here is our first loose haystack. Originally, we hoped to be around 12 feet square. I think from the piling and stomping down process, we got to about 16 feet square. We had an older hay tarp that had some holes in it, so we used that, and then we used the other hay tarp on top of it. We have some ideas for doing another method. But this is our first attempt, and this is a more traditional haystack manner, where you stack it all together and build up the edges by stomping on it and then build up the middle. Not a big fan of that method. We're gonna try something else. This took about four and a half hours and took the majority of the hay out of this field. On the second field we had cut we did manage to pick up most of it and get it on the hay wagon. We're gonna tarp that today. And now... It's time for pizza. <laughs> and now we are both exhausted and tired and are ready for pizza. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Here is our haystack, or our hay pancake we like to call it, that we made about a week ago. Today we're gonna put up some more hay, but we're gonna use cattle panels and make a hoop out of two of them and then we're gonna put the hay in it. It's very scientific. Let's hoop it up. <laughs> they have hoop fest in Spokane. This is kind of our own Tom Rosa hoop fest. We're gonna take this hay that we stored on the wagon and put it in our first hoop structure. And then I also cut some hay and raked it 
And we are also going to put that in the hoop structures. Another good thing about having the crow panels is, of course it gives shape to the bottom part of the stack, but it also gives you a place to use bungee cords or whatever to tie off the tarp. Like bailing twine. Here we are completing our second haystack for tonight using the crow panels. It took about two loads of the wagon, a cupcake, a muffin, and a pancake all the hay pastries that you would like. How did you like this method compared to doing the traditional where you kind of stomp it and stuff? Oh, I like this much better. Well, we put up our first loose hay. How did we think it went? Overall, I think it went really well. I wasn't super impressed with our first attempt at hay stacking, more of the freeform style. Uh, it definitely expanded out at the edges, uh, but using the cattle panels really worked well and we can't take credit for that. Uh, that idea came from the contrary farmer, the late Gene Logsdon. It worked out really well. Putting up loose hay, it's not a matter of, oh, well, that's going to save us a lot of time and energy. I mean, putting up hay takes a lot of time and energy. Yet, when you put up loose hay, you put it on the wagon, and then you have to do something with it. It's a little harder to cut, like, 40 acres of hay and then just bale 40 acres of hay, and then you have to go pick up the bales. So it kind of slows down your haymaking process to almost like a human speed. It helps us a little bit with the weather because we can cut smaller amounts of hay because we know about what we can handle in a day or two. The plan is to have a barn with a hay mow and we actually already have a trolley and grapple for unloading the hay which will definitely speed things up and be less work for us. So all in all, I would say that we had a successful first attempt at doing loose hay. Uh, we got what I hope is a majority of the hay we're going to need put up. Uh, we will still do some cutting and put up some more hay. It'll be a little bit more coarse, um, but we're just going to have those in outdoor stacks as well. Probably at least a couple more stacks. Thanks for joining us on the Tomarosa. If you liked what you saw, please be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a future video. Happy haying!